Okay, back to the problem. I think I started briefly before I ran out of time. When I when I do tweeners in between, I'm going to do two less than in Excel. So this one is between uh, 25 and 28. So my mean is 22. Here's 25. Here's 28. There's what I encourage you to do this for all the problems. By the way, I know about three of you will probably take that up on me, but I mean I, I always say it anyway, even though nobody ever bothers to do it. It really helps you understand what exactly you're looking for, you know, where you're at in, in terms of the mean, higher, less than, all those kind of things. But I know most of you won't. Nobody ever does. So, uh, but if I were you, I would. That's all I'm going to tell you, okay, <clears throat> until you're an expert at this stuff, which I'm sure none of you guys are, okay? I am, and I still do it, and uh, it really helps understand exactly what am I looking for, okay? All right, so now I'm going to do, um, okay, so I'm going to do two norm DISTs, okay, and then subtract the higher one minus the lower one. So formulas, more functions, statistical, norm.dist, and my x value, the first one is 25, the mean is 22, standard deviation is 7, Cumulative is 1, okay? So there's less than 25, okay? Less than 25. Now we're going to do less than 28. We're going to do the same thing. More functions, statistical, norm.dist. X value is 28. Mean, 22. Standard deviation, 7. Cumulative, again, always 1. And that's less than... 28, okay? So now I'm going to take this minus this, but I'm going to convert it to four decimal places first, 0 0.8043 minus 0.6659, and that's going to be my answer, okay? Well, hopefully 0.1384, if we did everything right, and my answer matches theirs, but I always want to make sure. 0 0.8043 minus 0 0.6659, 0 0.1384 it is, okay? All right? All right, so 81% of all Americans receive at most. At most means less than. At most means less than. So we really don't have, we're just going to plug in. And again, I'll show you this because I like to. And again, I encourage you guys to, but and again, here's 22. All right? At most, so 81%. What's that X value? Okay, X value. And here's 0.81. What is that X value? How many Christmas cards will I receive that's going to be 80, greater than 81% of anybody in this survey? Let's go back to this Word doc that I was uh, using a little bit ago. Okay. Look at these. This has nothing to do with this specific problem, but I just want to show you something. I need to score in the top 10% of all people taking the test to get into Harvard. What score do I need? The X value. What is the X value? Okay. Given the probability, find the X value, norm.inv. Okay. I am not going to put in 0.1 for my probability. I'm going to put in 0.9. Here is the same exact question, just worded differently. This question and this question are the same exact question, same exact question, just worded differently. I need to score better than 90% of all the people taking the test, okay? Watch these two again. I need to score in the top percent of people taking the test to get into Harvard. I need to score better than 90% of all the people taking the test to get into Harvard. What score do I need? What is that X value? They're saying the same exact thing. Now here's another one, okay? Let's just say, uh, again, I, I'm not here to bash EGCC, but it's very easy to get an Eastern Gateway. Okay, let's just pretend that I need to be in the bottom 5% of people that take the test. Uh, I mean, I, the, the bottom 5% of the people that take the test do not get in, okay? All right, let's just, that doesn't, that doesn't exist. That's not true, but I'm just trying to make a point here, okay? So in other words, as long as I am... 
Um, <clears throat> as long as I am better than 5% of the people, that's bottom 5%. So in the norm.inv, I would input 0.05, okay? So if this were my question right here, I would go to norm.inv and I would use 0.9 because that's less than. Remember less than, always less than. Excel less than, okay? Less than. This is like greater than, so to speak, top 10%. So I need to put in 0.9 in the norm.inv, okay? Well, this one is pretty straightforward. This is less than 81%, okay? So I do not have to do anything crazy like uh, subtract from one or anything. I'll just go ahead and use the actual 0.81. So formulas, more functions, statistical, and I'm going to go with norm.inv. Probability 0.81, mean of 22, standard deviation 7, okay, and 28 cards. So in other words, what this is saying, I said if, if I receive 28 cards, I will have received more than 81% of the people in this survey, okay, and then if I want to go on the flip side, there's only... 19%, there's only 19% of the people in this survey that got more Christmas cards than I did, okay? That's what it's saying, okay? Less than, greater than, okay? All right? That's very important to understand and get these problems right. Excel is like a calculator, but you have to know how to use that calculator, just like any calculator you have. If you don't know how to use or what values to input in the calculator, then the calculator is not going to do you any good because the calculator just computes, okay? So you need to know these things to manipulate the calculator, get the answers that you want, okay? All right. Okay, here's one that uses this. I have get a lot of questions on this too, the middle 30%, okay? All right, it's really not that difficult. So what I'm looking for is the X values. This would be the lower and this would be the higher of what constitutes the middle 30% of, let's read the problem. The average student loan debt is 25,650, standard deviation of 11,350. Um, so what is the middle 30%? In other words, <clears throat> okay, what two scores constitute the the lower end of the middle 30% and the higher end of the middle 30%, okay? All right, what are those two, um, well, de debts, what are the student load debts? What are these X values, okay? Of course, use norm.inv. So what do we use for the probability for both of these, okay? Well, if there's 30% in the middle, that means there's 70% left total, correct? And since that 30% in the middle, that 70% divided by two, is 35, so I'm going to get 35% on each side, okay? So, remember, Excel works left to right, left to right, left to right, less than, left to right, left to right, less than, remember that. So for the lower number, I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to use 0.35 for my input for the norm.inv, okay? For the second one, well, left to right, what, when I add up these two probabilities, what do I get? 0.65, okay? So I'm going to use 0.35 and 0.65. You're just basically, for the first one, it's whatever this is. And for the second one, it's this plus that, okay? So 0.65, all right? So I'll go to Excel. I'm going to use formulas, more functions, statistical, norm.inv. Do not use these two. Do not use these two. Do not use these two. It's this one or this one. These are two separate formulas that will not work for you. S's don't work. Just norm.dist or norm.inv. Norm. Oops, I just went ahead and norm.inv. Probability point. What did I say? Point three five, right? Point three five. Mean twenty five six five zero. Standard deviation, 11,350. 
There's the first one, run into the nearest uh, numbers, 21277. And then the higher one, do the same thing, more function statistical using 0.65, which is 0.35 plus 0.3. Okay, norm.inv, probability 0.65, mean 25650, standard deviation 11350. There it is. Okay, I don't think I have to do this one. Between 10850, norm.dist for that, norm.dist for that, you're going to get two probabilities. Then subtract the higher probability minus the lower probability, and you'll get this answer, okay? We'll do one more middle just to, you know, for extra practice. If I have middle 10%, that means I have 90 left over, <clears throat> and then I divide by 2, so I get 45 on each side. So I get 45 here and 45 here. 45 plus 45 is 90 plus 10 is 100. So for this x value, I'm going to use 0.45. And for this x value, I'm going to use 0.55, basically this plus this for this one, okay? All right, so this will be the last one of today. So formulas, more functions, statistical, norm.inv, probability 0.45, mean 9.7, 0.9, okay, 9.5869, and the higher one, formulas, more functions, statistical, norm.inv again, 0 0.55, 9.7, 0 0.9, there we go. All right, so Excel is your friend. Excel will do the calculations you need to do for you. However, <clears throat> it's not going to do everything for you. It's not going to think for you. It's just going to compute for you, okay? It's just going to just remember that. It's not going to do everything for you. It will only compute what you tell it to compute. You have to be smart enough. You have to know when what to input, when to subtract from 1, when to put like 0.1 versus 0.9 in, 0.2 versus 0.8 in. You have to enter the information correctly to let Excel do the number crunching for you. So Excel is your friend, but it's not going to do everything for you. You have to use your noodle up there too, okay? Send me questions.